subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss the 25 most used AWS icons. Before discussing the collection of AWS architecture icons, we first understand what AWS is. So, Amazon Web Services, AWS is the world's largest cloud computing platform, with over 200 universally available resources ranging from infrastructure to machine learning. These combinable systems provide maximum usability and are specifically designed to optimize the performance of your application through content delivery features, data storage, and more. With AWS, you only pay for the services you use, resulting in a lower capital commitment and faster time to value without sacrificing productivity. Now let's look at the collection of AWS architecture icons that contain AWS product icons, resources, and other tools to help you build diagrams. So, under Virtual Machines and Networks, we have VPC. Amazon Virtual Private Cloud allows you to launch AWS resources into a predefined virtual network. This virtual network closely resembles a traditional network that you would run in your own data center, but with the added benefit of utilizing AWS's scalable infrastructure. Next is, Elastic Network Interface Card. It is a logical networking component in a VPC that represents a virtual network card. Furthermore, in your account, you can create and configure network interfaces, which you can then attach to instances in your VPC. Next is, EC2 Instance. A virtual server in Amazon's Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2 for running applications on the Amazon Web Services, AWS infrastructure is an EC2 instance. Moreover, AWS is a comprehensive, ever-evolving cloud computing platform. EC2 is a service that enables business subscribers to run application programs in a computing environment. Next, resource. A resource in AWS is an entity with which you can interact. An Amazon EC2 instance, an AWS cloud formation stack, or an Amazon S3 bucket are some examples. Also, if you work with a large number of resources, you may find it more convenient to manage them as a group rather than switching from one AWS service to another for each task. Next, Internet Gateway. An Internet Gateway is a VPC component that allows communication between instances in your VPC and the Internet. Furthermore, it is horizontally scalable, redundant, and highly available. As a result, there are no availability risks or bandwidth constraints on your network traffic. Under Lambda functions, we have AWS Lambda, it is an event-driven serverless computing platform. It is a computing service that runs code in response to events and manages the computing resources required by that code automatically. Next is Simple Notification Service. Amazon Simple Notification Service is a fully managed pub or sub-messaging service that allows you to decouple microservices, distributed systems, and serverless applications. Next, DynamoDB. Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service that delivers fast and predictable performance, while allowing for seamless scalability. You can use DynamoDB to create database tables that can store and retrieve any amount of data while also serving any level of request traffic. Under Beanstalk applications, we have Elastic Beanstalk. AWS Elastic Beanstalk is a simple service for deploying and scaling web applications and services written in Java, .NET, PHP, Node.js, Python, Ruby, Go, and Docker on well-known servers like Apache, Ginx, Passenger, and IIS. Next is, S3 Bucket. In Amazon Web Services, AWS Object Storage Service, Simple Storage Solution, a bucket is a logical unit of storage. Buckets are for storing objects, which include data and metadata about the data. Under Internet of Things, IoT, we have IoT Rule. An AWS IoT Rule consists of three parts, a SQL select statement, a topic filter, and a rule action. Furthermore, devices communicate with AWS IoT by publishing messages on MQTT topics. Next is, IoT Core. AWS IoT Core is a platform that allows you to connect devices to AWS services and other devices, secure data and interactions, process and act on device data, allow applications to interact with devices even when they are offline, and create low-cost Alexa-enabled devices. Some other most used AWS icons are Glacier. Amazon Glacier is a web-based file storage service that offers space for data archiving and backup. Next is, CloudFront. Amazon CloudFront is a web service that accelerates the delivery of static and dynamic web content to your users, such as 
HTML, CSS, JS, and image files. Also, CloudFront distributes your content via a global network of data centers, known as edge locations. Next is, auto-scaling. AWS auto-scaling allows you to create scaling plans that automate how different resource groups respond to changes in demand. Also, you can optimize availability, costs, or a combination of the two. Furthermore, AWS auto-scaling generates all scaling policies and targets for you based on your preferences. Next, Amazon Elastic File. Amazon Elastic File System is an Elastic NFS file system that is simple, scalable, and fully managed for use with AWS cloud services and on-premises resources. Next, EBS Volume. An Amazon EBS Volume is a long-lasting, block-level storage device that can be attached to single, or multiple instances at the same time. Also, EBS volumes can be used as primary storage for data that requires frequent updates, such as the system drive of an instance or storage for a database application. Next, AWS Customer Gateway. A customer gateway is a resource installed on the customer side that is frequently connected to the provider side. Furthermore, it serves as a customer gateway within a VPC. Moreover, these objects can be linked to VPN gateways via VPN connections, allowing you to create tunnels between your network and the VPC. Next, Route Table. A gateway route table supports routes with a local or elastic network interface target in your VPC. Also, the following destinations are permitted when the target is a network interface, your VPC's entire IPv4, or IPv6, CIDR block. Next, API Gateway. Amazon API Gateway is an AWS service that allows you to create, publish, maintain, monitor, and secure REST, HTTP, and WebSocket APIs at any scale. Furthermore, API developers can create APIs that allow users to access AWS or other web services, as well as data stored in the AWS cloud. Next, Classic Load Balancer. Classic Load Balancer performs basic load balancing across multiple Amazon EC2 instances at the request and connection levels. Furthermore, Classic Load Balancer is for applications on the EC2 Classic Network. Next, Application Load Balancer. The Application Load Balancer is an elastic load balancing feature that allows a developer to configure and route incoming end-user traffic to Amazon Web Services public cloud applications. Next is, Network Load Balancer. Using the TCP or IP networking protocol, the network load balancing feature distributes traffic across multiple servers. NLB provides reliability and performance for web servers and other mission-critical servers, by combining two or more computers running applications into a single virtual cluster. Next, VPN Connection. AWS Virtual Private Network, AWS VPN enables you to create a secure and also, private encrypted tunnel, between your network, also, device in the AWS global network. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.